again to the channel happy new year to you guys i hope you had a wonderful celebration it's, my prayer is that this year is going to favor all of us whatever you could not achieve last year by the grace of god this year you achieve all of them in jesus name amen i really want to appreciate every one of you thank you so much for all your support may god continue to reward you all if you are new to the channel, you are highly welcome. Please subscribe to join this family and turn the notification bell on so you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. Thank you. Today we are going to make this two steps flare sleeve or double flare sleeve. That is 180 degrees flare sleeve. This video is actually going to be a very short one. So please relax and watch it to the end so you understand better. Alright, with that being said, let's get started. So guys, after making this sleeve, we are going to attach it on this, our blouse. If you have not seen the video on how to make this padded blouse. Please check the video out so you, are, you learn how to make it if you are interested. Alright? So these are the materials we need for the sleeve. I've already cut it out. This is for the first sleeve and then this one will be for the second sleeve which is the bigger one and this one is the smaller sleeve the one on top that is the first one okay. I, I just folded the material into two like this and I have what I have here is 13.5 vertically I have 13.5 and then horizontally I have 13.5 all right and then for this one I have what I have here is 19.5 vertically and then horizontally I have 19.5 so this quantity of material is going to be enough for us for this sleeve so to cut this sleeve the only measurement we are going to need for the sleeve is our round armhole round armhole and the sleeve length these are the two measurement we need for this sleeve so as for the round armhole you can either measure your round armhole or you use you make use of our formula to get your round armhole which is uh, your bust circumference divided by 6 plus 1.5 so whatever you have you multiply by 2 all right let for instance if you have 8 inches after after your calculation if you have 8 inches then what you are going to do is 8 times 2 which will give you 16 that means your round armhole is going to be 16 inches i hope you understand so my round armhole for this sleeve is 16 inches i'm going to be adding one inch sewing allowance to that making it 17 inches that is for my round armhole but the sleeve length I'm going to work with is 12 inches. The longer one is going to be 12 inches. And then the first one, which is the smaller one, is going to be 8 inches in length. Okay? So, let's get into it proper. So guys, to cut the sleeve, remember we folded the material into two. I'm going to cut this small one after which I'll use it, use it to trace the second one. Alright? So I, I need to do that to save time. 
after folding into two the next folding i'll do is like this from this close side all right from this part point that it is closed i'm going to fold a triangular shape like so so this is a 180 degrees flip i folded it into four if you count the number of fold is if you count the number of fold you get four so i folded it into four but in triangular shape like so so this is 180 degrees flip i hope it's clear so I'm going to come here and measure my round armhole which is 16 inches plus 1 inch sewing allowance making it 17 inches. So I'm going to divide 17 by 4 because we folded the material into 4 if that makes sense. So 17 divided by 4 will give me 4.25. So I'll come here, I'm going to measure at this point 4.25. So here we have 4.25. I'll draw a straight line. I'll draw a straight line. So from this line, I'm going to take the length of the sleeve. Remember, this one I said is going to be 8 inches in length for the first step. So here we have 8 inches. Then I mark. Then I'll bring it to the center and also measure 8 inches and mark. Then I'll take it to the edge and measure 8 inches and mark. So the length is actually 7.5, half inch sewing allowance, everything 8 inches. So I'm going to connect the lines. So this is what I have. I'm going to cut it out now. very simple to cut so I'll open it up this is what I have so I'm going to place this on the the second sleeve or the second layer or the second step it's I'm going to place this close side to this close side as well so I place it like so So I haven't placed this one on top, like so. Then I'm going to trace this out. I'll trace the armhole out. So I'll remove it. From this line, from this line, I'm going to take the length, the length of this one, the, the second one, which is 12.5, 12, 12 inches for the length, half inch sewing allowance, 12.5. So I'll measure 12.5 and mark. So I'm going to measure 12.5 round. 12.5. So this is for the second step, then I'm going to cut it out. So this is what we have. The distance from this sleeve to this one it's going to be 4 inches, 4 inches distance after sewing it. I'm going to cut the lining off camera to save time, okay? So 
guys, this is the lining. I finished cutting it. This is cutting lining. So any you can make use of any lining of your choice. I'm going to sew the sleeve separate and then sew the material separate. I'm going to go to the machine and I'll stitch like this and then I also sew here the same thing for this one. I'm going to place it right side to right side and use it to turn the sleeve just the same way you sew your peplum to turn it. That is the same way I'm going to sew this. After sewing it, I'm going to top stitch on the lining. Alright, let me go ahead and sew it and then I'll show you the outcome. So guys, I've just finished sewing the sleeve. Okay, so look at it. I use the lining to turn the material itself. I top stitch on the lining so that it will be very neat. Then I now I now give it a good press. This one is the first one, while this one is the second one. So I'm going to place it like so. And I will join it together. I'll join the the first one and the second one together. I'm going to sew it round, round here. This is the two sleeves. I'll finish joining the two of them together. it on, on this on this top this line where I joined the sleeve at the side I'm going to place it at this line at the ample line I place it at the ample line the two lines facing each other like so then This is how I will sew it. Okay, so I'm going to go to the machine and then I'll stitch the sleeve round. Let me sew it and then I'll show you the outcome. Okay, so guys, this is our beautiful sleeves. Try it out and let me know your results in the comment section. All right, and if you like this video. Please give it a thumbs up and share to others. Till next time. For now, it is bye-bye.